It's time! Alright, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Nite. It's exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee is ready to engage yet again. Or kill of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's a disaster. Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Herb Dean, our referee Ready. for this one. Ready. Let's do it. Well, there can be two better backdrops for a mixed martial arts live event than this Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And you remember when we finally got here in 2016, we've been showing up strong. Every time you go to MSG, you come with a big event. This is a phenomenal arena. This is a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby. The city of dreams. Look at the turnover in that kick. And that spinning kick found its home up top. Liver kick. Oh, big go. Trying to establish the jab early on here. And he gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Lands a nasty high kick up top. Man, back and forth we go, and early on, these guys getting after it. They told us it would be fun, and so far, they've delivered. Oh, 
beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Head kick. Oh, right hand gets up to block it. Nicely done with the kick there. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Push kick there to the body. Midway through round one. Counters ball inside leg kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by Lee. Wow, nice slip and an even better rip. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Under two minutes to go in the round. Body kick lands. Oh, straight punch. Lips. Oh, that's a big elbow. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, just misses with the kick. Misses with the left hook. Under a minute to go in round one. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, he kicked him in the head. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Visibly limping here. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Seconds to go. So a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Huh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on fight. him for not really Good. making the adjustment Good. to stop it. Round two here. All right, DC's back from the can as we get this next round underway, and his striking in that previous round was so good. I got tired just watching that out. I mean, he did a great job of landing strikes. Not only just punches, not only just strikes, there were significant strikes. A lot of punches outside of the jab. I've gotten in trouble a lot of times about what's significant and what's not. Right. But I'm telling you, he landed a lot of punches that were very easy to make that determination. Leave the stack guys alone. Jack. Leave them alone, man. Over and over, I get in trouble. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, great block there. Beautiful connection lands. Fighting long is the key. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Lee's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Right on the button. Checks the leg kick. It's there, take down. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Hands high, hands high. Missed on the right hand. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Here's the kick blocked by Lee. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not be that damaging, but down the line, you're going to really pay for it if you don't address it right now. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Back and forth we go. All right, we'll see if he has any response here. His opponent continues to land. A lot of swelling upstairs. Well, you got to move your head. You've got to be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. You've got to avoid right now if you want to avoid having this become an issue. Back to the left hand now. Under a minute now in round two. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Trying to kick the leg out. Nice punch land over the top. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Oh, he lands another pinpoint strike there, and no surprise to see the swelling upstairs get worse. That accuracy, man, it's something to behold. This guy is so good at finding his target. Now, he's got a big old marker on the guy's face to try and hit. You have got a smart fight in front of you. You have got to move your head, or he's going to keep going. Two rounds in the books. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready to fight? 
Ready. Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not He's hurt. Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? Head kick attempt, it's blocked. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Big knee there. Nice jab by Lee. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Beautiful punch lands. Oh, a huge block there. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up. You didn't like that like this. Oh, oh, big diving punch. Hey, don't jump. He passed the half guard. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Top man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but... Oh! That'll do it! Oh, my God! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 17 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to...